a heart attack. Fast fatal heart impact. Past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and packs. I back up my actions. Fact, don't ask. Grab reactions. Jacked attack with every word. Then act with class as they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose. Cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused. Call the shots and they produce. I ain't boss. I'm finally loose. Pick a new soul bird's juice. I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a piece now. Y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember you just freaked out. Get ready for the Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kirusho here, and now, before we do start, let us give a brief little review. In the last part, quite a number of things have happened. Now, we had Deku, and, well, he went on a mission with Lady Nagant. He saw a man die, and he got some advice from her. Right now, what they do is to keep the image of heroes good. Keep it positive. In reality, there are heroes out there who go against the law. They work outside of it, and some work against it. Some have tarnished the name of a hero. And what they do currently is to make sure that that name, that phrase, it stays the way people do see it as. And Deku, yeah. This experience has not shaken him. And right now, a lot currently is happening. Deku, he's going to be mentally conditioned. Him and a few other of their candidates, so that they are more tolerant to what they have seen. Now, and it's quite simple. They break down the resistance first, and then they rebuild it back up. They make them stronger. And then, they'll start to encourage physical training, whenever they can. Now, Deku currently, he's gone through many courses. And many things. A lot of ideas have been put into his mind, and a lot has happened in this time. Deku is currently a little over 12 years old. And right now, he actually has discovered quite a bit about his powers. He has also copied some more abilities. Now, Deku encountered the female Shinso, and copied and actually was able to permanently take her power. However, she actually did keep it. And it wasn't too well known whether or not it was because they had prolonged contact for short periods of time, or if Deku can just copy an ability. <clears throat> A lot has been thought about with Deku. If he always stays in constant contact, can he actually take away the entire power? Or is it just that Deku will make a copy for himself? Now, many people have talked about this and discussed it. And there actually have been ideas and plans for Deku. Now, Deku proved exactly what he can do, and many people were alarmed. Deku was actually able to do this. He made his own copy of somebody's quirk. However, the person, they were physically left exhausted after the experience. Now, Deku, a lot has happened for him. He currently does have four new quirks. And right now, Deku, he does sit there at the edge of his bed, messing around with a few pieces of paper. And right now, Deku, he actually is going to take a stand after making his latest creation. Him going to take a turn and bring up the slice of paper. Him folding it in half and going to sort of put a crease in the edge of it. Him looking back towards the bunk as Deku just folded a few more times. Before Deku does go to Doki turn and slash using his paper quirk. Now, Deku slices Doki across the metal. And around the metal, it actually does have a slice halfway inside of it. And Deku does look back at the metal. And he does look at his paper. Deku, he folded it a little too much. Okay. So, complete control of her paper. It's still flimsy, but. If you can do that with a dollar bill, it would be probably good. A close range attack. Hmm. People wouldn't suspect cash. Let me know what Deku does think. And right now somebody does come walking into the room. Deku turning and looking to look at this person. As you do ask if he's busy testing out another power. Hmm? No. Good young man. Well. Something has come up. 
We want to field test you. And really, it was kind of sprung on us suddenly, but I believe that you are ready. Tell me, young man, what do you think? Hmm? What is it? We want to test you, in particular. Right now a hero is going around doing certain things. And the people they're involved with, they want to try and sell a few things. They want to harm a lot of people. And right now, we want you to stop it. No heroes know about this, and right now we've set up the meeting with a contact. We want to see what you can do. Now, they go to the stare the person. Bring his hand up and looking down at it. His fist enlarging as Degadus goes to shrink it back down. Hmm. Okay. Will I be able to take power? Yes. In fact, prolong exposure. We want to see what you can do this time. If you can, turn yourself into a metal. See what you can do there. Your abilities, they're developing rapidly. And we actually are very intrigued to see what you can do with it. Especially on a live subject. Now, they could just hear that. Live. They want him to make sure he can get everything he can out of this person. They want more than prolonged exposure. So one theory is that Deku's powers, they actually drain stamina. They actually might drain life force. And that is a terrifying thought. The boy is a monster, if that is true. Now, the man is standing there in front of Deku. And Deku does go so to agree, and look down towards the ground. He knows he has to get away from here. He wants to run, but there's something in his head telling him not to. Is it the training? Is it the fear of what they'll do? I mean, that one kid ran away, and they found him. He... he almost got away. But... could he? He has better powers, but that kid was able to fly. And they still caught him. Now, right now Deku and his team, they're let out. And somebody, they are currently driving the van, as the four kids are in the back. And right now the man is going to directly tell them all. Right now they all do have trackers embedded in their bodies. And if they all do try to get away, then they should know. They'll be found easily. The trackers cannot be removed. And... Right now, they will be recovered in an hour. Call ahead if they have already taken down the people. They have contact information. They know everything. They have details. Now, Deku, he does say this. And right now the kids are dropped off one block away from the location. And right now Deku does look towards the female Shinsho, as she asks her to bring up a mask and pull it over her head. Deku looking towards the other two people. And he asks Doki to ask both of them. What do they think they should do here? Because he does actually have an idea as to what to do. Everybody's what's staring at him. And Deku, he actually gets strange looks. As one kid does talk about how they need to find a way onto the roof. Another talking about how they need to be stealthy. And Deku, he does really look at all of them. Looking towards... Shen So, ask her what she does think. Hmm? You have a power for this, don't you? I have one that's for grappling, but it's multi use It has multiple uses. Deku turning. And right now everybody does watch as Deku's hand does turn into an octopus. And right now they do actually watch as the tendrils, they do go to Durki shoot up, and onto the building. And Deku, he actually, he actually does go to Durki bring up his pant leg on his right leg, him pulling it up as they do see suction cups, and Deku does tell all of them, as he actually directly bring up his hand, that they need to grab onto him. Now, everybody they're confused, however Deku does explain, and right now Deku does show the fact that he can shapeshift, and everybody they do actually listen to Deku. Deku gets them to the top of the building, and right now, 
he asked to show his powers. He can get them to the top of the building. And then there's the fact that they need to get across multiple buildings, the one they need to get to. And everybody, they do just watch. Deku, he's actually able to stretch his limbs and increase the size of them. And right now, after Deku does walk across a few buildings, with many of them on his back, Deku does talk about what they're doing. And right now, they're actually going over one kid. He actually is sitting there, looking into the building. Him staring down, as the glass, it's broken. And they can see the people down there. Now, a lot of them are actually asking the questions. What should they do? And how should they go about this? And Deku does look towards the kid who he has a quirk. Asking the kid if he can use his power. I can, but it'll only affect the cars. I mean, that's all I'm feeling down there. That's all I'm feeling too. Okay, so what then? We cut the lights in the cars? And then what? I can turn into metal. Okay, but shouldn't we brainwash? Take survivors? No. Deku just look at the kid, telling him. He wasn't told they should take survivors. What? But that's... That's not... That's not good. We could use them. I know. But those were our orders. Damn it. Okay, um... Let me think. It's a newer model car. Electric. 5,000 degrees. Tons of smoke. No lights and fire. Okay, I know what to do. Now, there actually isn't at the warehouse. Some of the people here, they're a bit on edge. This deal was supposed to go good. And right now their contact is running late. They don't like that. Now, there actually is where the lights above them, they do suddenly go dark. And right now a lot of the guys, they talk about how this might be an ambush. Them bring up their weapons and looking around. And some actually are pulling out their phones, trying to understand what to do as there actually is one of the cars that they do suddenly go to Turkey have their lights cut out before someone is going to run back over to it. Them getting back inside and trying to push the button to start it. Up, start it. And as they do go to Turkey push the button, the car bursts out into flames. Now, the guy inside is scream as the door is locked. And right now Deku, he actually has to go to Turkey bring his hand up and onto the cement wall. Him going to Turkey turn his body in cement as he actually has to jump down from the building. Now, Deku Doki does Kodoki smash down in between both cars. And right now after feeling the heat, Deku does Kodoki bring up his hand and absorb the fire. And everybody did watch that. There was suddenly this loud smash. And then the lights, they went out again. And then there was actually one of people's phones, they immediately exploded. Some felt the buzz and let go of it. Others, they were tased by their own phones. And right now, they actually are trying to fire, fire wildly in the dark. As there, as there actually is Deku, who does bring his hands onto the car and start to absorb the metal. His body is shifting again, as Deku, he does look around. And there actually is where people, they only see the glowing eyes of the fire Deku absorbed. 5,000 degrees. That's what Deku does know. Him Deku going to bring up his hand and throw a fireball at somebody. As whoever does hit them, they are sent flying backwards and bursting into flames. The person is screaming out as it does quickly die down. And Deku does go directly turn and throw another fireball. The person trying to fire at Deku as sparks are flying off of his skin. And Deku, he does actually have somebody rush towards him. Deku going to directly be smashed backwards as he struck across the stomach. Now, Deku, he actually does get sent flying backwards into the ground getting back up, and going to throw a fireball at the person. As whenever he does so, the person, they actually go to Turkey jump out of the way, Deku hitting the other vehicle. Now, the person, they do actually scurry back onto their feet, quickly trying to move away from the ground where the car is, since if that thing explodes again, or that one explodes, there will be more problems here. Now, 
The person is staring directly at Deku, bringing out their gun and firing directly at him. And whenever Deku's glowing fire eyes, they actually show that they belong to something. The person, they fire towards the face. And Deku does feel the bullets ricochet off of his forehead and off of his cheeks. The person, going to Doki, click the trigger again, finding that it's empty. As you go to Doki, throw it towards the ground and tell him. If he's a fucking vigilante, he is one hell of one, isn't he? Hmm? You need to stop. Like hell, I'm going to stop. The person freezing. And Deku does go directly walk forwards. As he does tell the man, he brainwashed him. Right now, he can't move or speak. Stay still. Now, everybody is looking down in the warehouse. And right now, Deku, he actually is going to directly bring up his hands and change them. Them increasing in size as Deku, he does start to take out the man in the warehouse. Many of them, they try to fight Deku. But, yeah. Giant hands. Brainwashing. Fire control. And indestructible skin from what they have seen. It isn't a good combination. Now, eventually the team does come down. And whenever the lights are cut on, there actually is Deku. Deku, he actually stands there as his body, and actually shows that he does still have that fire contained inside of it. Inside of it. And Deku, he actually is going to directly bring up his hand. Him going to directly turn his head and look in a direction. Him thinking about what he should do. His body can contain the energy. He can stockpile it and save it for later. And that is an option at the moment. But Deku... He does want to test it. He wants to absorb more of the power. And right now, him going to Doki walk towards the man he froze, he does have an idea. Deku and Doki going to bring his hand up and grab onto the back of the guy's neck. The guy feeling the pain as his body immediately starts to move. And Deku, he uses the suction cup quirk, or octopus as it's called. And right now, the guy he actually is trying to get Deku off of him. Him screaming out and yelling at him to get the fuck off of him. And Deku does feel it. The man's power, it has to be increased strength. Because Deku, right now he's feeling the man try to pull him away. Get him off of Deku. And right now Deku, he does still stand there. As whenever Deku, he does finally absorb the man's power, the man actually finds it to be harder to get Deku off of him. Deku's limbs increasing, as they do wrap around the man's. And the man, he actually is immobilized. As whenever he's trying to fight, Deku increases the size of his own muscles. And right now the guy, he can feel it. He's not going to win here. It's no use. Now, Deku, he actually does finally pull away from the man. The man feeling exhausted as Deku, he does look down towards him. Telling him how... He really provided a good quirk. What the hell? And looking up and seeing... No fucking way. You're just kids. Deku looking at the man. As right now, Deku, he does hear a gunshot and then a good rookie turn his head. Seeing that Shinso, she took care of the only survivor. Now, Deku does look back towards her. Talking about how she just ruined some research data. Hmm? We learned something, didn't we? We did. We learned that my powers, they don't seem to be deadly. He didn't die. He ran out of stamina, then stopped. Then we didn't lose any data. Now, Shinjo does reach down to her pockets pulling out a phone, and making a phone call. And right now Deku does stand there, him looking down at his hands, wondering about how this new quirk might work. Okay, so let's see. Deku walking over to the car, and right now Deku does attempt to try and lift it. And Deku, he actually does do so. Him being able to lift it, as whenever he does go to Deku try and turn and throw it, it doesn't go very far. And Deku does stare at that. 
that's not fun. Now, somebody would go to comments. They could just throw a exploded vehicle. The fact that he was able to do so, it shows quite a good amount of things. The negative is going to jerky turn. Telling the person, not really. He can only copy fully matured quirks. Ones that are like that. If they're still in the stage of development, they are when he does copy them. He only has that type of power. Hmm? Really? Mm-hmm. The guy didn't develop his quirk. He thought it was good where he was at and got comfortable. I don't like that. Why? Because it means I have to improve it. I already have more quirks than I want to deal with. I'm always told to gain more, gain more. But most of the ones I have in here, they're useless. I mean, seriously. Now, they go and rejoin the team. And right out of the contact, he does come strolling in. Him informing all of them to load up as they do head back out. And right now, Deku, he actually does look out the window. All he would have to do is jump out and run. But they would catch him. They would find him. There have been made examples of before. And Deku, he knows his powers are good. They are unique. But could he really try to bargain with them? Tell him what he wants. Make demands. He knows his powers are good. Maybe he can request to see his parents again. Maybe find them. Know they're still alive? I mean, he hasn't heard from his parents in years. And he's been told recently that that's because the contact information, it may have been lost. But he doesn't believe that. His parents, they must have sold him out to this program, right? I mean, it makes sense. I mean, pay increase, a bonus, everything he heard from back then. His father fully explained it. And Deku, he thinks that his father, he may have actually gotten paid off to abandon him. Now, the thought someone does anger Deku. And right now, as Deku, he's somewhat squeezing against the back seat, he actually going to bring his hand up. Him feeling something to be crushed in his hand. Deku looking at part of the metal as he does go to turn and drop it. Mm. Going to have to learn how to control that then. Someone looking directly at Deku. Asking him if he does think that that was a good idea. It was an accident. Yeah, um, maybe, maybe you should, uh, be wary of that. Mm-hmm. You don't say. He's got a new power. I get that, but maybe he should just be careful. I mean, it's kind of terrifying. He gained a new ability. Of course he can't control it off the bat. I don't... I don't know how to even fully control my own. Then looking back at Deku, him beginning to explain. His abilities are strange. The first quirk he copied allows him to manipulate paper. If he does fold it enough, he can make a sharp edge on it. And making it more durable, that's a bit tricky. Right now he can at least manipulate paper to make it a lot more flat, I mean cushioned together. A lot more force. And then there's the brainwashing, the shape-shifting, and his quirk, Technopath. And the guy does look at Deku. You have my quirk? Yeah, I do. I've been debating telling you for a minute. I know I copy your ability on the mission, but I think I actually have it permanently. You think you do? Okay, but what what about... I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I... They want me to copy more advanced quirks. But getting in control, finding the target, all of that. 
I mean, I don't know. Some of these things they want me to do, they're bad. And I don't want to do those. I'll actually hurt a lot of people just trying to gain their powers. <sighs> Sorry. It's okay. Now, they would arrive back at the base. And right now, Deku, he does currently lay back down in bed. He wants to go home. But then again, the interrogations, the mission briefing, all of it. I mean, today he killed a man. He killed several. And yet, he doesn't care. His focus isn't on grief, it's not on regret. Those men were bad. They had to die so society could stay clean. They hurt society. And yet he is not involved in it. He's trying to protect a world he can't be a part of. What does that say? I mean, the last couple years, he's he's been learning about this type of stuff. And yet, all he ever does is fight, train, and be here. Deku's shifting over. And right now, Deku, he actually hears a voice. Are you still awake? Yeah. I can't sleep. Did you want help? No. I'm thinking about. Do you ever think we'll get out of here? I. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Now, Deku, he does fall asleep. And the next morning, there actually is where Deku is awakened to the sound of a scream. And right now, Deku, he does go to jump up out of his bed and enlarge his fist. Him looking around and seeing that the kid with the technopath quirk, he's being taken away. And the kid is trying to shout. He just wants to go home. Let go of him. He can still be useful. And right now, Deku, he does watch. No one really knows what happens when they leave. The kids, the ones who have been here before, on the team, they disappear. Some think that they're transferred to other locations, brought to different teams. The people just come in and drag them out. I mean, it's not good. It's bad. And right now, Deku... He does have his own thoughts on that. He's concerned. People, they've theorized a lot of things. And right now, the reaction is where somebody is walking to the room and informing all of them loudly. Him walking over and directly going to bend down and pulsing up from underneath the bed. Him holding it up. They aren't allowed to do this. The man holding up a gun and forming them. They cleaned up the evidence. And right now, this is stolen evidence. They had a count, and they had everything. The kid, he was trying to plan an escape. Right now, the kid, he's going away to be talked to. Right now, what they're going to be doing is making sure he does understand where his loyalty does lie. The boy had thoughts of escape. And right now, he may have put them into their minds. So, they do want all of them to know. This is to protect society. What they are doing is helping people. And right now, they will not be punished for what that boy has done. Everybody looking around at each other. Surprised. And the man does continue. They won't punish them for one person's mistakes. However, they actually are curious, looking over to Deku, asking if he does have that boy's abilities. Hmm? I do. A shame. We could have done a test. Now, Deku is someone going to step forwards, asking, can he make a request? 
the two staring directly at him. And the man is good tricky go from looking at the weapon to looking up at Deku. What? I know I'm important. I just... I want to know. When can I go home? Soon. You said that before. You said that some other time. I want to go home. I want to see my mom. I want to see my dad. I want to go outside. I want... I want to just... I just want... Not this. The person staring directly at Deku. And they do go to Doki walk over and bend down, putting a hand onto his shoulder, informing him as he goes to somewhat tap the end of the gun to Deku's chest, that they understand what he does want. But right now, Deku, he's a hero. And right now, his priorities are some of the last ones on the list. Does he understand? And Deku does to at the person, them telling him, does he understand? Now, Deku stares at the person. And right now they do look at Deku's eyes. Deku nodding as they do tell him what to do next. Since clearly he hasn't learned anything. Now, with that being said, Deku, he's taken away. Because clearly something in his mind wasn't wired the right way. So they should probably try to fix that. Now, with that, I do believe that, that is a good point to leave this part off of. And I do hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.